I'm going to show you how you can automatically import RSS feeds into Airtable. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com and I will add URL to this in the description. So we have a, an, empty, an empty table here and we want to just you know, import an RSS feed and every time there's a new entry in the RSS feed we want it to automatically pop here. So if you buy the tool this is what you would see. Uh, start by filling up the first three things here, follow these URLs to get those, and then drop your RSS feed in here. And then next, we'll need a name of a field. This is for internal use by our tool. So let me explain this here for a second, side by side. So we need to store this URL in each entry. We need to know exactly where it came from. And this is so that we can uh, make sure that we don't mess up if you have multiple RSS feeds in the same table. So just make a new column in your, in your table and make sure to write its name here. Um, and we'll fill that up and you don't have to really do anything for it. Make sure these names are case sensitive, by the way. Next, the, the uh, field where we will store the title of each entry of the RSS feed. So each entry will show up here. This title will be this thing right here. Make sure it's case sensitive. Next is the publication date. So the publication date is extremely important for this extension. When we import an RSS feed, we don't keep comparing each entry every single time. We just determine the last time we took, uh, so the time at which we took the last entry. So when we import the last entry, we need to know, hey, are there any newer entries than the last entry or not? So we don't just go ahead and compare every single entry. We just compare, are there newer entries than the most recent entry? So this is extremely important. Uh, make sure you add it as a date type and then um, make sure the time field is included and make sure that it's GMT enabled. All these three things have to be exactly like that for the extension to work. Next, the URL for each entry. So this is, you know, if you have a, an entry that takes you to CNN, this is that URL. Um, and next, the description. So this is to store a snippet of the RSS feed item. So let's go ahead and run this here. Um, it'll take here a second. So we see a couple of things got imported. We see a, um, all these new rows here. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we import things when we see that the most recent thing we imported is not the most recent thing in the RSS feed. So if I were to remove this and then rerun the extension, that thing that we just removed will not get re-added. Right, because we only look at the most recent entry. But if I were to remove the most recent entry, this kind of simulates what it would be like if a new thing got added to the RSS feed. So we rerun this, the most recent entry will pop up again. So just an explanation. You don't have to care about that that much as long as you don't delete them. Um, next is you can schedule this to run regularly, or you can even run it with a webhook. A webhook is if you open this URL, it runs the extension. It's, it's the same as hitting this button, but with a URL. All right, so last thing I wanna show here is this extension supports having multiple uh, feeds. And these fields can be in, the feeds can be in multiple tables, uh, multiple bases, et cetera. They don't, there's no limitation. You'll just see a bunch of um, new options to, to choose from. So I've gotten a, a, I have another feed here that points to this exact table with exactly everything, uh, the same as the first one, except the actual RSS feed. So I wanna run this and I wanna see how it would look like to have multiple RSS feeds included in one table. So I'll hit save and run here. Um, and as you can see, we started with, oh, we started with 25, but anyways, it got imported. So you see the NASA um, thing here. And so this gives you the ability. So yeah, we use this RSS URL to give you the ability to be able to have multiple RSS feeds in one Airtable table. And you can schedule each one independently. You can have web, web hooks for each one independently. Like I said, they can be in multiple tables, etc. The one caveat here is the limit for these is 10.